Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial on how to make a boss. So nobody asked for this but I just wanted to do it because I think this is a really good boss and it's actually kind of challenging to make. And you'll see why when I get to it. But anyways this is a Roy and Morton duo, ba duo boss battle, you have to fight both of them. I've uploaded a video where it show showcases all of my bosses, showcases all of my bosses my, in my world. And this is one of the bosses you're going to go through. A coupling boss rush, a duo of uh, Morton, Roy, Iggy, Lemmy. And uh, Larry and Wendy and then Ludwig alone, Ludwig, Ludwig alone. So let me showcase this boss battle and how it starts. Let me let me first play it and show you the, the idea of it. Okay, let's just do this. Okay. So you enter the store, and there it is, Morton and uh, Roy. So the idea here is that there are two platforms. If uh, the platforms will go deep to uh, like low enough to where the, uh, the, the grinders, the chainsaws are going to hurt you. So you want to make sure that you, you don't stay in it for long. You have to keep jumping between two platforms. And while... Okay, I, I lost. Alright, whatever. And so while doing so, you have to try to fight uh, Morton and uh, Roy. So the hard thing about this is Morton's, uh, Morton's going to try to stun you and Roy might just come out of the ceiling. So you have to be careful. Not only that, but there's also um, roadblocks. So the coupling can actually go back to the to the platforms. So if the couplings go go uh, under the platforms or in the ground, these these note blocks, I can push the couplings back up. So that's another thing. Okay, so we might under, we might ask, okay, so what's so difficult about this? Or like it seems simple, just add a bunch of platforms, make sure and uh, grow some chainsaws or like grinders and uh, note blocks. Well, here's the thing. When, the first, when I first made the level, I, when I first made the level, Roy kept dying for some reason. He kept killing himself, and then I realized the problem. So when when, when making this level, uh, here's the thing. You can actually use uh, spikes as well instead of uh, grinders if you want. You can use uh, spikes if you want to. But here's the thing: if I uh, if I use spikes, Roy can actually kill himself. And here's why: Roy can actually um, come out from the platform. He can actually dig into the platform and come out come out of it. If the platform go, goes under the spikes and Roy tries to come out at the same time, the platform is under the spike. He's gonna kill himself because he gets crushed between the spikes and the platform. Same thing with the note blocks. So the trick here is to. Uh, Hold on. So here's the thing. The trick here is that to make sure the platform, when it goes down, it reaches the same height as the note blocks or the spikes. It, it, should, it should not go under them because otherwise Roy is going to kill himself. So that is, that's important because I actually made that mistake and Roy kept on killing himself and I did not know why. So yeah, that's basically the gist of it. Uh, the platforms are, are going to reach the uh, are going to reach the level of the ground floor. Make sure it does not go under the ground floor because Roy is going to kill himself otherwise. So that's the most important thing. If, make sure that the platform, like for example, right here, as you can see, the platform once it reaches the ground floor, it's gonna go back up. It does not go under it. it it's the maximum it can reach is the ground floor, the floor itself. So if you're gonna put the note blocks or anything, make sure that the platform reaches the ground floor, or the same same level as the note blocks, spikes, whatever. Uh, another thing I can I can give you like a hint. Hold on. Okay. So yeah, as you can see that uh, all of the platforms reaches the ground floor or the floor and then goes back uh, back up. It does not go under it because Roy will kill himself otherwise. I also added two note blocks so that couplings can go back to the platform so they don't stay down here and you can just like do nothing, cheese the battle. You can add uh, you can make the entire the entire floor note blocks, but also it becomes so challenging and it becomes really frustrating. Another thing I want to mention is the platform is the semi-solid. If you do this, if you make if you make the semi-solid the tip of the semi-solid touch the floor, the ceiling, Roy will not come out of the ceiling because there is no space to, for him to come out. Because uh, usually Roy will come out of the ceiling, but uh, if there is no space, if you put uh, if you put the edge of the not, uh, the edge of the semi-solid with the ceiling, so if you do this where the semi-solid where the edge where the tip of the semi-solid makes contact with the wall with the ceiling Roy will not come out of the ceiling he will just come out of the of the floor of the floor and the, the platforms 
So make sure that uh, when you do this, make sure you do it like this, where the tip of the platform, tip of the semisolid will not collide with the ceiling. And that's it. That's how the boss battle works. The, the, the idea here is that you have to keep jumping. You have to be careful not to stay in one place. You have to keep jumping from one platform to another. And you also have to jump when, when Morton is about to do his ground pound and Roy as well. So let's, let's go through this boss battle one more time. So as you can see, I have to keep jumping. So I, I also have to jump when Morton jumps and is about to do his uh, shockwave. Okay. And the coupling, uh, this is a real challenging and fun boss battle in my opinion. It's my, uh, my favorite um, uh, coupling duo boss battle. It's really challenging and fun. As you can see, Roy, Roy, Roy can't kill himself when he's coming. Yeah, like, Roy can't kill himself when he's coming out of the platform. Thank God, because like I said, uh, uh, the platforms cannot go under the ground floor or the the uh, the floor. This is a real challenge of boss battle. I'm just gonna say it right now. Yep, there's, there's Roy. Roy came out of the ceiling, as you can see. If I were to do this, he will not come out. Let, let's try it. Uh, hold on. Wait, hold on. Okay, let, let's do this, for example. Hold on. Okay, let's do this, for example. Roy is forced to come out of the ceiling, but as you can see, he will not come out. He will not come out, no matter what. Wait, 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 never mind, it actually does come out. Okay, never mind, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so you can do this. Uh, it doesn't matter. I, I thought for some reason he doesn't come out of the ceiling. But I prefer this, honestly, just to make sure it's safer. But okay, I, I, actually I was wrong about that part. But like I said, make sure that... Uh, the most important thing is make sure that the platform reaches the ground, the ground floor and does not go under it because Roy is going to kill himself. I tried it before, he killed himself. Especially if you use no, no blocks and spikes. I'm not sure if he's gonna kill himself if he goes under the platform or like the semi the solid the solid ground right here, but I, I think he does. I didn't try it, but I'm not gonna try it. But anyways, guys, that's uh, that's it for this tutorial. Um, nobody asked for this, but I just wanted to showcase it because I think it's a really good boss battle, a really challenging and creative one. I feel like a lot of people are gonna complain that this is very hard. If you want me to do any other tutorial boss battle, just just tell me. Uh, you can see all of my boss battles in a video that I posted. It's called All, uh, all, uh, all Bosses in My World. Uh, Super, Mar Super, Mar Super Mario Maker My World, All Bosses. Okay, this is not, this is not easy. Uh, Roy is actually really simple, but uh, you have to be careful not to... Get it doesn't fall under you. But, oh my god, I almost killed myself. Oh, thank god. Okay, I'm done. Yep, yeah, that's it. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And like I said, if you want me to, de to demonstrate any other bosses, just tell me. Okay, so this is Roy and Morton. Uh, if you want me to demonstrate Wendy and Larry, there's, uh, there, here it is. This is the uh, arena for Wendy, Wendy, and, Wendy and Larry. Uh, this is the arena for Morton and Roy. And let me show you the last two. Let me show you the last two. Just in case if you're interested. So this is the arena for Lemmy and Iggy. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I added uh, two twelves. One of them has a parachute, one of them does not, so it can actually make like make the Conveyor belts unpredictable where, where it's gonna move and when, when, it, when it's gonna switch. Um, you can add more pumps if you want. There's a, there's la chainsaws, the lava bubbles. I really like this boss battle, though. it's very challenging and I really like it. And then finally, we've got Ludwig von Koopa. So, as you can see, there's a Ludwig and there's one in the, uh, in the clouds. There are two giant uh, fly, flying 
Laser Mega Koopas, Zappa Koopas. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you want me to demonstrate any other bosses, just tell me.